Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create an external location table in Unity Catalog. So we are going to see how we can create a table where the underlying data files will reside in the storage container of our choice. So usually you would have seen in all my past videos that whenever we are creating a table, it is a managed table and I have said this as well. So these are the managed tables where the underlying data files are actually resides in the Unity Catalog Meta Store. But in this case, even if we want to create an external table where the underlying data files resides in a storage container outside the, uh, you know, the Meta Store, you can actually do that using, you know, the external location table in Unity Catalog. So let's go ahead and see exactly how we can do that but do remember to watch all the previous videos because that is when you're going to get a very clear picture of how i am trying to you know create a video one after the other and each video is linked to the previous video and you will understand even this video even better if you have already watched the previous videos so now since we want to create uh, the data files in a separate storage location. So let's create a storage account first. So let me click on uh, Okay, let me directly go to here from the storage account. Let me click on create So you have been watching all my previous videos. So these are like, you know, the basic things you would have already know Now let me create write the storage account name. Let me say storage external and then best us2 let me say four and then let us select the redundancy to LRS and then let's go ahead and click on the namespace option because we are enabling a Gen 2 over here and then simply click on the review option and it will review and hence we have to create it. Now this is the storage account that we have created and we would want when we create a table of files to come here right in this particular storage account. So while this is going on while you know the storage account is getting created what we will do is we will create an access connector so access connector i have already explained in my previous videos what is an access connector right so when i talk about access connector it is a bridge between your storage account and your databricks workspace so you create an access connector you provide uh, access connector access to your storage account so access connector will have access to your storage account and then this access connector will be configured in the databricks workspace right and then anybody who wants to write to the uh, this particular external location can actually write it directly without even having the access to directly to the storage account so this is the whole use of access connector so let us click on create the access connector let me click uh, let me check out a resource group and let me call it as connector external i'm just using external word so that you know we can differentiate between the uh, you know all the access connectors that we have and then simply click on review and create it is a managed identity you can go here and make sure that this option is on and review and create so this is going to create an, ex uh, an access connector for databricks and in the meantime you can see that the storage account has been created and let me create create a container because i would want my files to reside in this container i will name it as container itself let me call it as container and click on create so now uh, you can see that i have created a container as well over here in the same storage account and then this access connector uh, i'll click on create now this access connector is also getting created now what we will do is we'll go to the databricks workspace this is the cluster i've already made a video on the uc enabled cluster so this is a uc enabled cluster we have to use this for all our work now we'll go to the data tab over here in my workspace. Now in the data tab, you will see, uh, you know, on the left hand side bottom, you will see something called as external data, right? Now, if you see this external data has two things, storage credentials and external locations, right? So if we go to the storage credentials, now, whatever storage account we have created, right? So the credentials related to that storage account using the access connector ID will come over here. So what I told is access connector will have access to the storage account, right? Now you will use that access connector eventually to read and write from that particular table. So that is why you have to put access connector ID over here. And this is just the name of the storage credential. In the meantime, let me go back and check whether my access connector has been deployed. 
yes it's deployed so let me go to the resource right so this is the name of my access connector now you already know that this access connector needs to have access to the storage account right so if i go to the storage account i go to iam access control if i click on add role assignment now i want to give access right so i'll simply say blog data contributor because if you look at the description it says allows for the read write delete access to the storage account this because this is what we want right so we select this particular option click on next and then we click on the managed identity then we click on the member because whom we want to assign right access connector for databricks what is the access connector connector external this is the access connector that we have created now click on select you will see that this extra access connector comes over here i click on next and then review and assign so now i have added it correct now if i go back this is the access connector page overview tab you will see there's something called as resource id i will copy this resource id because this is what i will use to refer to my uh, access connector now if i go back to the data explorer right storage credential create credential because that is the first thing that you have to create so let me name it as storage credential 77 and then I give me my access connector ID, right? And then I'll simply click on create. That's all. You need to give the name and you need to give the access connector ID. Now think logically. Don't try to remember these steps. Just think logically what has happened. So you have created access connector and now here you are creating the credentials for the access connector. You are putting in the access connector ID. Using this Databricks will know that, okay, I have to create, uh, you know, so and so table right at this particular storage account and you know it will have access to do that because of your access connector and then i go to external location now this is also pretty much think logically what is external location right where you want to write that is what you need to put over here right the moment you click over here create location right uh, you can type the location name let's say uh, you know container external and then it is asking you okay where, what is the location just type in the location over here that is all what it is trying to say so it, it, it is just trying to uh, you know ask you what is the path where you want to write in a particular storage account you can have 100 containers right in that 100 containers you can have folders and all right now where exactly you want to write just give that particular path a b f s s path you basically need to provide the container name is container for us right and then you have to give the storage account name now if i go back this is the storage account this is a typical uh, you know url that we use in most of the places so you would remember it by now so this is the storage uh, account name dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net right and if you have any further folder inside that particular container you can just give a path so by this what you're trying to tell you're trying to say that okay i want to create my data files at this particular location okay what is the storage credential this is the storage credential that we have created now this is the place where i have the access connector use this access connector to read and write to get you know the access to read and write and read and write at this particular location right so that is how you have to kind of think and don't try to remember any steps here so uh, then then i will click on create and now you have external location as well ready so the moment you have this right what you need to do you simply need to create a table at this particular location you know now if i go to a notebook so basically what i'll do is uh, if you see i have this table okay i'm just using a sample table first okay it has some data i'm just showing you what data it has let me simply run this it is a new york taxi data i have used it in like i think a few of my videos as well so this is the default data set that we have so i'm just using it to create my external table because i need some data in my table right now uh, i have this data available i'm using this data to create the external table now you can see that this is how the data looks like right and now in my previous video i have told you that if you want to create an external table in the unity catalog let me go to the data tab i have already created a catalog over here in my previous videos right we have created this quick start catalog as well so if you go to this catalog you have the schema right i want to create a table over here right inside this catalog and inside the schema i want to create a table now how do i do that i will say use catalog use schema because i might have you know more than one catalog and in my current session which catalog and which schema i want to run right so because of that we use these commands use catalog use schema right and then i'm saying 
create table if not exist trip external let me name it as trip external uh, underscore yt because I already uh, have trips external table so if you see create table if not exist trip external underscore yt this is the table name as select star from this particular table what I showed you the only difference is you just have to provide a location over here and what location is this this is nothing but this is the same location that you have provided in the path as well correct at what location you want to create this particular table right let me copy the storage account name from here and let me try to put it over here right so the moment I do that and I run it my external table will start getting created so when I say that you have syntax is very simple create table this is the table name as select star from this table simple SQL statement right the only change is the location you have provided the location that the underlying files keep it in this particular storage account right so uh, meanwhile I'll go to the storage account and you will see that uh, let me go to this container that I have and this is the path that I have given container now you can see that it has started creating these files right it has started creating these files because it is running right so the this is where the data is residing these this is where the files are present now if I go to the data explorer and I try to refresh it because this is where I have added my table now the moment I refresh it you will actually see that my table gets created over here now if I go to schema you can see the trips external dot yt right the moment I click here you can see the details tab it gives you the storage location it tells you that this is table delta external this is the external table it tells you that so it gives you the whole details of your tables as well right so this is how you can actually create an external table in Databricks so now even if I want to drop the table right so let me uncomment this part what will happen is even if I drop this table trips external yt okay now even if I try to drop this table you will see what will happen is this table will get dropped but the underlying files will not get dropped because the underlying files this is an external table right the files are residing in an external storage location now they will not get deleted now the moment I've uh, you know run this command I go over here back and then I try to do a refresh on the catalog right the moment I do a refresh on the catalog you will actually see that the table has table is no more there and you are also getting an error that this table does not exist but when I go to the container and I refresh it right you will st still see the files you will still see the files because it is an external table that you have created so this is pretty much about the external table in unity catalog I hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel for more of such upcoming videos Thank you so much for being till here.